Hi, my name is April and I'm the Peaceful Wife. I want to talk about the difference between biblical submission in marriage versus passivity, being passive. Some people think that, well, and in the world, the word submission or being submissive often means being a doormat, being a slave, giving up all of your thoughts and ideas and opinions and your influence. But Biblical submission is not like that at all, and I think a lot of women get confused, and I've noticed that even though I talk a lot about, we do confront our husbands about sin at times, I have a video about that, we do share our opinions and our desires, we have our influence, we speak our minds and our hearts respectfully to our husbands, but some women will say, well, I'm I'm being submissive, just like you said. I never tell my husband what I want. I never tell him what I think. And I never disagree with him. That is not biblical submission. That is being passive or being a doormat or giving up your personhood. That's not what God's talking about and is not what I'm talking about when I talk about biblical submission. Submission that I'm talking about is first we submit ourselves to Christ Jesus as our Lord and he is in charge not us and Husbands are all believers in Christ are supposed to be fully submitted to Christ as Lord and we are to obey him That's how we show him. We love him We can't have him as Savior and not as Lord if he is our Savior He must be our Lord and we must obey him and he gives us his spirit to empower us to do that. We can't do it in our own strength. And so if you, if you try to approach biblical submission without the power of Christ, you're probably going to be pretty frustrated because in our own sinful human power, all we can do as women is either be too passive or we can go the other way, which is what I did, and become dominating, disrespectful, and controlling. Both of those things are destructive. Both of them are bad. The, the thing that's in the middle where you soar above human ability is this position of great strength and power in Christ. And then we have the ability to honor our husband's leadership, treat them with genuine respect, and be the women that he calls us, that God calls us to be. But I am not talking about women being passive, um, that is not a gift to anybody. For, for a wife and mom to give up her ideas, her opinions, her personality, her feelings, her needs, her concerns, and to say nothing and do nothing, I mean, what's the point of being there if you're not going to be a person and not going to have your feelings and emotions and your ideas and concerns? I don't know any healthy husband who wants a wife like that. There may be some abusive men that want wives like that, but no healthy man wants a wife with no ideas, no input, no cooperation, no abilities of her own, can't think for herself, no opinions. That's not biblical submission. That is slavery or being a doormat or being completely passive and giving up your influence. I hope that maybe that will clarify things a little bit. Biblical submission, we say the things we need. We share our emotions, the whole range of emotions. We share um, our concerns as God's Spirit prompts us to. There's times when we will hold back and be silent and wait and pray. And there are times when God will, will nudge us, say, say this, say this now, say it in this way. Um, we are never told not to confront sin. We don't have to respect sin. There are times we absolutely have to take a firm stand against sin and confront sin and may have to separate from a husband if he's being abusive. He won't repent of infidelity or um, active addiction, something like that. So I hope that maybe helps clear some things up. I'm not totally sure why so many women seem to mishear me on this really important subject and I hope maybe this will shed a little bit more light on it and I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.